I'm gonna show you how to make fresh almond milk and it couldn't be easier. So one thing about almonds, so this is a sprouting jar, it's really easy to do. We put almonds in um, purified water for between 12 and 24 hours and it releases what's called an enzyme inhibitor, which is a blessing that nuts, that nuts have them so they're not you know, sprouting wherever they are. They have to be um, soaking in water in order for them to release their enzyme inhibitors and be able to turn into a living food. And I've read that when a nut or seed is sprouting, it has 500 times the nutrient value than it does when it's in its full fruition plant. Because it's like, ooh, I'm turning into something. You know, it's like when you're a baby, you have the most amount of enzymes that you're ever going to have. Um, so we just, I soaked these in water. And then like easy breezy, all I'm going to do is put them in my blender with water and blend. So why almond milk and why make your own? And literally you'll see this takes me two minutes to make. Um, well, why almond milk instead of store-bought almond milk? This almond milk is going to last in your refrigerator four days tops, okay? Whatever they put in the almond milk that, that they sell in the stores that makes it last in a container for however long is not necessarily something that I want to drink. Plus the almond milk in the store is a little thick. So if you think I don't like almond milk, Make so, your own. Almonds and water. And that's it. That is it. Now, you can get funky with it. You can put um, vanilla in it, a banana, which I'm going to turn into a chocolate shake in a moment. That's it, and then we strain it through a nut milk bag. And by the way, you can do this with Brazil nuts, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, cashews. You don't even really have to strain cashews. Um, hemp seeds, and you don't even have to strain this. I'm straining it because uh, I'm going to show it to you just as like a straight up milk. But if you were going to make it in a smoothie, leave the almond pulp in it. It's just more nutrients. So look how fun this is. Easy breezy strains. Just like this, you see? Yeah, yeah, that's all you do. And it's so good. Um, okay, this almond pulp, what's left in the bag is important to talk about before we get into the sprouted wrap sandwich. Uh, this is really beautiful nutrients. You can put this in the dehydrator just by itself. Um, I like Excalibur dehydrators. You can find more about dehydrators on our site. Uh, and you can just put it by itself and dehydrate it and turn it into almond flour, which you can do for a myriad of things, cooked and live. You can mix it with you know, shredded coconut and coconut oil and a little lemon juice and make macaroons in the dehydrator. You can literally use this in the shower or in the tub as a scrub and just scrub your skin with this beautiful uh, vitamin E rich substance. So that's food for thought. I'm gonna